sudare kamayo karamashete lege goshte ka asabra balige de riboshte kele baragadoshte ke ele mara masota re maige de le baraboshta ka ezebra no kala barakate lege de logo boloko toshte ke asobre kaya balika barakaye de le boshata oh father we praise you we bless your holy name we give you glory honor and praise hallelujah Oh, praise the Lord, somebody, carry Mashanda. Thank Him, praise Him, give Him all the glory, give Him all the praise, hallelujah. Rabba Baba Shada Lege Baraba Shatalia. Father, we praise you, Father, we bless your name. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Lord, we are grateful for the gift of life. Thank you for waking us up to see a new day. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for preserving us. Thank you for preserving our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we exalt your holy name. Thank you for what you're doing in my life. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. Oh, Rabba Sada Rabba Shada Lege Do Sata. Oh, Rabba Saba Raga Rege De Lebo Shata. E Reba Soda Lege Bara Bade Leshtoko. E Rabba Baba 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 Baba. E Rege De Ge De Ge De Ge De. E Raga Bala Ga De Rege De. Oh, Sambra Ge De Bo Shata. Ria Basha Kata De Bo Shata. And so we say good morning, Heavenly Father. Good morning, Lord Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Have your way in our midst today. Do what only you can do. Kalabaso katere mashandalia. E kabraya katole mashandalia. Eze brege dele mokore mashandalia. O rababa baselege de. O rababa baselege de. O rababa baselege de. O rababa baselege de. E solo brege do, sole brege do, sole brege do. Come on, pray the Holy Ghost. Get ready to pray. Push and press. Get ready to push and press. Pray in the spirit. Somebody. Mareko shakata. Marika legedo shakata. E parakate legedo shekeda. O sabraga de 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 de. Lord, we receive grace to pray today. We receive all trans Holy Spirit. We acknowledge your your presence in our midst. La baya katara mashandalia. La baya katara mashandalia. La baya katara mashandalia. E braya kasokoro. We receive grace to pray. We receive supernatural strength in the name of Jesus. We come against every spirit of distraction, every form of distraction. We rebuke them in the mighty name of Jesus. We cast them out of this prayer line. We cast them out of this prayer line. Spirit of distraction, we hold you bound in the mighty name of Jesus. And we resist your works on this altar. We resist your works on this altar. We resist your works on this altar. We decree and declare that this altar is free for the prayers of the saints to thrive. We decree and declare that this altar is free for the prayers of the saints to thrive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we decree and declare that this altar becomes a portal for angelic activities. Angels are sending and descending on this altar. It becomes a portal. Maya katore mashanda ye. Maya katore mashanda ye. Maya katore mashanda liga roshte keria. E braso tore gedoshte ka. Come on, cover yourself in the blood. Cover yourself in the blood of Jesus. I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. I present myself blameless before you, Father. In any way we have sinned or fallen short of your glory, we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. Maya karaba. Shanda 
and we appear before you blameless. We come into your presence with boldness. We come into your presence with boldness, O God. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Lord, we bless your holy name. We give you glory, Father, because this is the day you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day of your power. This is the day of your grace. This is the day of your power. This is the day of your grace. This is the day of our visitation. We decree and declare that none of us will live the same way we came. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Be confident in this thing. That whatever you ask today, you have received. Whatever you ask today, you receive. Whatever you ask today, you receive. Jesus promised us in his word. He said, if you ask anything according to my will, you, he hears us. This is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Oh, he hears you. He hears you. Lord, we are grateful because you hear us always. We are grateful because you hear us always. Our prayers and our words will not fall on deaf ears. There shall be no hindrances. There shall be no blocks in the spirit. There shall be no blockages in the spirit. There shall be no hindrances. There shall be no obstacles to our prayers today. We come against every obstacle. We come against every hindrance. We come against every obstacle. We come against every hindrance in the name of Jesus. And we cast you out. We cast you out. We plead the blood of Jesus. 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 Come and lift your family before the Lord. Lift your household before the Lord. Come and cover your family in the blood of Jesus. Cover your family in the blood of Jesus. Marakatari Mashatalia. Esepracaturuno Sutem Maria to Sonteria. Oh, thank you for my family. My home is blessed. My children blessed. My husband blessed. My wife blessed. Every member of my family is blessed. Rakapala Katore Moshatali. E Kebra Gadada de Gedo Sekata. E Bregado Sulika Banda. E speak mysteries over your family. Come on, Nasule Keremo Sheke, Nasule Keremo Sheke, E Prai Baba Basso Televostaka, O Celebradi Adabasso Televosteke, Arababa Baseke Regadola Bashataria. For those who were not online yesterday, we are, pray we are praying and we are fasting for five days. Yesterday was day one, today is day two, and we are praying and raising altars for our family. We are raising ourselves as altars for our family to determine what goes in and goes out, to determine what happens in our family, to suffer some things to happen and suffer not. Do you understand? So as we pray this morning, lift your family before the Lord. Get ready to pray and fast. Don't just join this prayer without fasting. Please do not exempt yourself. Do not exempt yourself. Do not exempt yourself. The Bible says the disciples of Jesus, they brought a man to Jesus Christ. And in one word, they told Jesus, they said, your disciples could not cast out the devil out of this man. And Jesus said, oh, ye of little faith. And in one word, he commanded that demon to leave that man. And he left him. And the disciples came back after. They asked him, they said, Master, why couldn't we cast out devils from that guy? And Jesus said, this kind, this kind, this kind, come at not, but by prayer and fasting. There is a dimension that prayer can achieve. But when you com com combine your prayer with fasting, it goes a long way. It goes a long way. There are some situations in your family that will not stop, that will not end, that will not start until you combine your prayer with fasting. 
until you combine your prayer with fasting. And that is exactly what we are doing in this, in this place right now. So we're going to be praying that every long-standing issue in our families. I don't know what the long-standing issue may be, but Jesus said this kind. There are some long-standing issues that can only be dissolved through the power of fasting and prayer. There are some serious situations that can only be dissolved through the power of fasting and what? Prayer. So this morning we're going to be praying every long-standing issue in my family, every long-standing issue in my household, in my marriage, in my life. Today, as I wait upon the Lord in the place of prayer and fasting, it comes to an end. We're going to be pronouncing an end to long-standing issues, an end to long trials, an end to long situations that you are tired of. If you are tired of any situation that is repeating itself or keeps reoccurring in your family, today is the day of visitation. Today is the day of your visitation. I want you to open your mouth in faith with your heart and begin to decree that every long-standing issue in my family. I decree and declare today as I wait upon the Lord in the place of prayer and fasting. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. We put a full stop to every unpleasant situation that has plagued our family. Begin to name it. Be specific when you pray. Be very specific. Put a full stop. Every unpleasant situation. Every unpleasant cycle that keeps going and coming back, keeps going and coming back, keeps repeating itself in my family. Father, in the name of Jesus, it comes to an end. It comes to an end. An end has come to every trial that has overstayed is welcome in my family. Every affliction that has overstayed is welcome in my family. An end has come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. An end has come. Ah, we decree and declare every long-standing issue, every trial. The Bible says your afflictions are for a moment, not for a lifetime. Every affliction that has overstayed its welcome in your life, in your family, in your household, in your marriage. You are going to stand today on this altar of fire and with your mouth as the prophet and the priest over your house. You begin to decree and declare that I say it is over. An end has come. I shut you down. I put a full stop to it. I put a full stop to this. I put a full stop to that. Begin to name things. And begin to put a full stop, begin to pronounce an end, an end has come to this cycle, an end has come to that cycle, an end has come to this issue, an end has come to this trial, an end has come to this problem, an end has come to this affliction in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, You shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. So begin to decree and declare. Begin to decree and declare. An end has come to every long-standing issue in my life. Every unpleasant situation in my family. Every ugly story in my family. You know they used to say some families, no matter how good they look on this, they always have dark secrets. They always have dark issues. They say no, 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 no family is flawless. No family, there's no family without problem. Why do you want to be the family with problem? Why? Is, the, is it scriptural? Is it even scriptural? Have you ever seen it in the Bible where God said, for there shall be no family without a problem? Is it scriptural? Where do we get all these philosophies that we adopt just to, 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 to um, explain our situation? To give a reason to the devil to keep afflicting us. The devil likes statements like that. He likes it when you talk foolish. When you say foolish things. The Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue. And you will eat the fruits thereof. This morning I want you to pronounce end. Full stop. 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 Stop every storm that has stayed too long in my marriage. Stop every storm that has stayed too long in my family. Stop every storm that has stayed too long in my home. Stop 
in the name of Jesus Christ because you are a priest over your house. You are a priest over your house. You are a priest over your house. And the day the priest arises to take his place, that is the day you begin to see the effect of your prayers. That is the day you will know how powerful you are. Have you ever prayed a prayer and you saw it happen and you say, Man, I just said it, I didn't even know it to come to pass. Have you ever prayed that kind of prayer before? Where you prayed and you saw the result and you were, it shocked you. You didn't know how powerful you were. Today, you will know how powerful you are again. The Lord is going to reveal to you. The Lord will show you how powerful your prayers are. How heavy your words are in the heavens. How heavy your words are in the spirit. The Lord wants to reveal to you so that you come into a consciousness of who you are. So that you come into a consciousness of your power, what you carry. And enders come. Every ugly, unpleasant situation in my marriage. Every ugly, unpleasant situation in my family. I pronounce an end in the name of Jesus Christ. I feel led to share a short story. A very short story that will encourage somebody. It will encourage somebody. Holy Spirit, give me the wisdom. It will, it will really, really encourage, just so you know how powerful your prayers are. So, uh, there's a woman who had, um, who is married, right? And then her husband had an affair. And um, the affair lingered for a while. Apparently, it was maybe for about eight years or so. They've been, um, the man has been in an affair with that woman. The woman is also divorced, right? Um, so the, the affair lingered for a while. And every time this issue keeps coming up, keeps coming up, keeps coming up, keeps coming up. Anyways, um, one day, someone close to the other woman, someone very close to the other woman, that's the woman who is having an affair with um, the, the, the other woman's husband, right? Someone close to the other woman, told a third party what she heard the other woman say. The other woman has been praying. The wife has been praying. The wife has been praying about this. And so they told the, the person close to the strange woman informed someone close to the wife, like a middle, like a middle man, right? And said, this woman said that I'm always seeing the wife in my dreams chasing me with a lion let me paint it so that you understand god forbid god forbid i reject it in jesus name. it's never going to happen to me but let's say for instance i'm the one that is married right and um my husband's enemy is having an affair with a woman and they've been together for years right and then um so i start praying i start praying and there's someone who knows the other woman now tells my friend that, hey, tell your friend to keep praying. This is what I heard. This is what the other woman told me. The other woman came angrily and warned the husband, warned, you know, was saying it angrily that, tell your wife to stop chasing me in my dreams. That every day she wakes up from her dreams, scared, sweating. Why? Because she sees the wife chasing the other woman in her dreams with a lion when i heard that i heard the jesus i said hey there's power in prayer there is power in prayer Say so she's always seeing the wife chasing that woman with a lion i say it's the lion of the tribe of judah because you have crossed your boundary you went to the wrong house you went to the wrong marriage you tried it with the wrong woman I was so fired up when I heard that gist. I was so encouraged when I heard that gist. When the other woman said, I keep seeing a lion with this woman chasing me in my dream. I said, if that woman is not careful, that lion will bite her eventually. There is power in your prayer. I shared that to encourage you. I don't know who it is that is maybe going through stuff in her marriage, going through stuff in your home. But you see, 
Jesus has two sides to him. He has the side of the lamp, the gentle one, the one that you slap, it will turn the other cheek. The one that you will take to the lamp, you slaughter and it will not resist you. But he has another side. The other side is the side of the lion. If that lion shows up, you know that it shows up for war and it does not take sides. It does not, that lion hears go. It doesn't hear come back. It doesn't hear retreat. It doesn't hear slow down. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I want you to take the position of a lion this morning. I want you to be angry in your spirit. I want you to decide that I, I, I will not endure this matter anymore. I will not endure this situation anymore. Any principality and power, spirit, physical being that is behind this long-standing issue in my family, I drive you out now in the name of Jesus Christ. I said that to let the intercessor in you rise up. Let that woman, you are not soft. You are not, you are not weak. You are not weak in the spirit. In the spirit, you are, you are the tribe of a lion. Do you understand? You belong to the tribe of the lion of Judah. Now lion, lion, they born. Do you understand? So whenever you want to switch, like the other day when someone tried me on the altar, there was a switch. Do you understand? The lion came out. So whenever you want to switch and you are tired, the Bible says when you are tired, you will break the yoke off your neck. You will snatch it. You will say, mm, off my neck. So if you are tired of every long or any situation that you have been coping and enduring, you don't have to endure it. You don't have to endure it. This morning, say, I stand in the gap as a priest over my house, the one that has authority over this family. And I decree and declare, open your mouth and begin to put a full stop. An end has come to every issue in my family. An end has come to every long-standing trial in my home. An end has come to every battle, every warfare over my marriage. I command you to seize every warfare over my home. I command you to seize every warfare over my life. I command you to seize in the name of Jesus Christ. An end has come to it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to endure. Stop enduring. Stop living with situations that God did not say you should live with. Stop living with it. If you're tired, you tell it to stop. If you're tired, you tell it to end. Every storm in your home, every storm in marriages, every storm in families, today we pronounce an end. Peace be still, peace be still, peace be still, peace be still in the mighty name of Jesus. The name that they cannot resist. In the name that they cannot resist. In the name that no demon, no principality, no mami water, no witch, no babalawo can resist. The name of Jesus. Every stronghold in your family is broken. Every stronghold in my family break, 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 break. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Torah bashanta li bradosheke. Makoso teri mashala katari mashandalia. E rabaya kotozu lekere do shotoria. O se braya katiri mashandalia. In the name of Jesus. O rabaya kates kotoria. E se brokotuli masoteria. Marabasha katali gedos gete. O re baba baba baba. Long standing issues. Financial afflictions. Health afflictions. Marital afflictions, childbearing afflictions, begin to pronounce an end. I rise up today as a priest and I decree an end. An end has come. An end has come to childbearing afflictions in this family. An end has come to childbearing diseases, childbearing affliction, childbearing delays. An end has come in the name of Jesus. The Bible says Jesus was describing something. 
he said if you if you want to if you want to if you want to take something from a strong man when you enter a strong strong man's house you will first you can't just enter a strong man's house and take his property you when you enter you will first bind the strong man you will bind the strong man behind those situations behind those long standing issues they are strong men they are women their principalities and powers they are princes of darkness little demons big demons don't be ignorant bind them this morning Oh, Kazali Maroche, the Kerry Masota. I hope you are not on your bed. If you are lying down, I'm sorry for you. If you are still under your duvet, you are still under your duvet. When you have just less than 30 minutes to go, you are still under your duvet. I am sorry for you. Koraba Shakata Libra. Rise up and begin to bind them. Every strong man, every demon, every principality in my life, in my family, in my marriage, I bind you in the name of Jesus and I command you to get out. Out of this family. Your reign has come to an end. Your reign has come to an end. Your reign has come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. I expose you by fire. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost expose them. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost expose them. In the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Koraba Santa. Wherever you are hiding in my house. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost begin to burn them to ashes. Burn them in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind them in Jesus name. Oh Rabba Santa. There was a day the Lord revealed something to me. A time in my life I used to see all kinds of strange animals. Strange animals coming after me. And then there was the day I slowed down. It was as if that week I was just so tired. I just slowed down on prayers. And then the Lord just showed me a cage. In that cage, all those animals that used to afflict me back then, running and chasing after me in dreams, I saw them in the cage. Different creatures, I saw them in the cage. They were bound. And then I saw the head of one trying to come out. Eh? I said, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind you. I shut you down again. I tie you up again. Those demons, if they escape, if you let anyone escape you this morning, it's your fault. If you let those wicked spirits, they are called wicked spirits, wicked. They, they, all they do is wickedness. If you let anyone escape, it is your fault. I saw them with my eyes. They were in a cage. A cat was trying to bring his head out. Trying to bring his head. I said, if you try it, you are dead. That will cut it, cut your head. This morning, bind all of them. Principalities and powers, wicked spirits. Wicked spirits, spirits that perform affliction. They just come to scatter. Spirits that scatter. Spirits that scatter. You know there are just some spirits that scatter. Spirits of confusion. You have not said one fight. Spirit of strife. Spirit of bitterness. Spirit of anger. Bind them together this morning. Drive them out. Spirit of insanity. I don't know who that word is for. Yes, in your family, there's a spirit of insanity. And it looks as if, yeah, you keep using the, you know, when you say mental illness, it sounds nice. It's madness. When you say mental illness, it still sounds soft. But in the real sense, it's madness. You are going to bind that spirit of insanity. Bind it right now. It's a strong man. Say, I tie you up with the rope of the Holy Ghost. The rope you can never break. The rope you can never break free from. I tie you now in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not escape. You will not escape the fire of God. You will not escape the judgment of God. I pronounce judgment on you. I pronounce judgment on you. I pronounce judgment on you. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn you to ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Koraba shata leke Eso breke tili mara sotoria dosikete. Man breke do salikri bados te keri mashandalia. E kabaya katore makoso kotori mashandalia. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Every wicked spirit in my family. Oh ragada, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Let the wickedness of the wicked in my family come to a full stop. Let the wickedness of the wicked in my home come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
every long-standing issue, long-standing trials, long-standing affliction. I pronounce an end to you in the family of Alabisi and Joshua Adam. I pronounce an end to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I put a full stop to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of infirmity, ins insanity, spirit of infirmity, spirit of disease, spirit of sicknesses. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I tie you up with the rope you cannot break. And I cast you into the lake of fire. I cast you into the lake of fire. I cast you into the lake of fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shole karabaso tariba shandalia. Shole karabaso tariba shandalia. Shole karabaso tariba shandalia. Eke barato suli gabranto kosi kete. O sege barakati li barashtakarebo shataria. O shabaraba baba baba le. O sole ge daraba shandali ge dos kete. Araba baba 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 le ge des kataria. O in the name of Jesus. An end has come to every storm in my family. Every storm in my family I pronounce on hand. I pronounce full stop. Stop now. Halt now in the name of Jesus. Halt now in the name of Jesus. Stop now in the name of Jesus Christ. O Rabba Sakatori Mashantalia. There are some families here that have experienced long financial drought. Long financial drought. You thought it would only last for a moment, but it has overstayed its welcome. Begin to pronounce an end has come to every long financial dryness, financial stagnation, financial drought, financial strangulation, financial limitation in my family and end has come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And then that's come to lack in my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. The Bible says that on that day, the children of God gathered, the sons of God gathered, and the devil showed up among them. For those of you who think the devil doesn't go to church, he attends service. He used to attend services like this. But he's handicapped on this altar because there's fire here. The Bible says the children of God gathered and the devil showed up. And God asked him, where are you coming from? He said, I've been walking up and down, seeking whose house I can enter, steal from, destroy, kill from. That's what he's looking for. You say, he's not going to enter my house in Jesus' name. And then God said, have you considered my servant Job? This was the testimony of Satan. He said, have you not made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands. His substance is increased in the land. That means the devil tried Job, but he could not enter. Because how did he know that this man is covered? He saw a covering on Job's life. There was a covering on Job's life that Satan could not penetrate. That was why when God said, have you tried Job? He said, I tried, but I saw fire around him. There was a wall around him. Not just around him, around his house around his business, around all that he has. In fact, even his substance keeps increasing. You see that the devil knows. The devil knows. He knows. He sees in the spirit. You are the one that doesn't see. The devil sees. Some people are walking about, no covering, no fire around them. You are just exposed. Exposed unnecessarily. This morning, that exposure comes to an end. That vulnerability comes to an end. That exposure to attacks comes to an end in your family. You are going to lift up your voice. And you are going to begin to decree and declare. That hedge that the devil saw round about Job and all his house. Father, put an hedge round about me. Round about my family. Round about all that concerns me. Father, build a wall round about me. A wall of fire. 
a fire wall, a wall of defense round about me, round about my marriage, round about my children, round about my husband, round about my household. Build a wall of fire, an impenetrable wall of fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, a wall of fire round about my household. Every corner of my family, build a wall, build an hedge around us. An hedge that the enemy cannot penetrate. An hedge that the enemy cannot break through. An hedge that the enemy cannot walk through. An hedge that the enemy cannot fly over. I decree that my household is a no-fly zone to any demon. My family is a no-fly zone. My marriage is a no-fly zone to any demon principalities and powers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, if it hadn't been the Lord who was on our side. If it hadn't been the Lord who was on our side. The devil would have had, would have had us for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snack in between. But thank God that the one that watches over you and I never sleeps nor slumbers. By day and by night his eyes are open. Watching over us, watching over our family. Say, Father, build an hedge of protection around my house, round about my children, round about my family, round about my home. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree no access, no access to the devil in my house, no access to the devil in my home, no access to the devourer in my family, no access to the wicked in my home, no access to the devourer in my family, no access no access, no open door, no open door, no entry point to the wicked, to the devourers, to the killers, the thieves. No entry point, no access in the name of Jesus Christ. Shatale mako shatali barashtaka. Shatale mako shatali barashtaka. Shatale mako shatali barashtaka. E parakatori kidos kateria. O sele barakatali kete. E breke suko breke suko breke suko. E la breke to shata. They came to Elijah. 300 chariots of men. They surrounded his house. Gehazi said, My father, what are we going to do? Look at them. They surrounded us. Elijah said, Lord, open his eyes. That he may see that those that are with us, they are more than those that are against us. And the Lord opened the eyes of Elijah's servants. Was it Elijah or Elisha? I can't even remember. I always mix them up. And the Bible says he opened his eyes and he saw chariots of fire. Chariots of fire. Heka baluso toromo shotoria. Chariots of fire surrounding him. Chariots of fire. I'm conscious of the chariots of fire that I walk with. Try me. Just try. Fly in the night. Just fly. You say you have wings, you want to fly. Fly. Chariots of fire surrounding your children, surrounding your home, surrounding your family. Begin to call them forth. Begin to call them forth. Say, Father, Halabura Masura Bashantalia. I ask that you summon chariots of fire to surround this family, to surround my house, to surround my children, to surround my marriage, to surround my household, to surround my spouse. Chariots of fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, we invoke them, we provoke their works. We decree and declare that our homes, our families, our marriages, our children, our siblings, Far and near, they are surrounded with chariots of fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, lezuzu bedege also bentu ikadolia e baria kusunto shekeda meku salata e braya susu peleketo e zendumi kutonde retondi atatanda. Chariots of fire around about us, in and out of my house. 
In my house, chariots of fire. Outside, chariots of fire. At my gates, chariots of fire. When my children are going to school, chariots of fire. Oh, Rabba Shatari Bashotaria. Oh, in front of my car, behind the vehicle, standing at the gate of their school, chariots of fire. Le Boso Tori Bashakata. We install them. Father, install them. Father, give them a charge to watch over our families. Because the times are evil. We are in those evil times. We are in those evil times. We are in those evil times. And the Bible says, except the Lord watches over you and I, except the Lord watches over your house. I've said it over and over again. If you like, have 100 CCTVs. Have 100 CCTVs in your house. We have an alarm on our windows. If you open it, it will make noise. Midnight, my husband came down to get water. One of the windows were opened. No noise. Except the Lord watches over a house. Technology can fail you. Technology will fail you. Put your confidence in God. The Bible says some trust in horses, some trust in chariots, but we trust in the name of the Lord. Don't have too much confidence in all of these gadgets. It's good. It's good. But it can fail. May they not get us. Oh, they will not get you in Jesus' name. Father, let there be chariots of fire all around my house, watching over me two for seven. Chariots of fire by day and by night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Chariots of fire by day and by night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kosa le barasha katali boskete. Oso bregadi le boroso kotore mashatalia. Eke barakato su le ketere. Mokoso koto le kete. Ekre tu makura sakatali gadosh leke. We trust in the name of the Lord. Our confidence is in the one that preserves us. Oh, Rabba Soteri Mashakata. Ekele Pandia Sotoria. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, surround your family. Now surround your family. Mention their names. You have any siblings that is far from you? I surround you with chariots of fire. I surround my siblings in America with chariots of fire. I surround my siblings in London with chariots of fire. I surround my parents with chariots of fire. I surround my children with chariots of fire. I surround my household, my husband, with chariots of fire. I surround myself with chariots of fire. By day and by night. In the name of Jesus Christ, by day and by night, we are surrounded, heavily guarded, heavily protected. Have you seen those signs where they say this place is heavily protected? And that's, that's who you are. That's who you are. You are an ambassador. You are a priest of the Most High. You don't walk around without protection. You don't walk around without protection. E solo barakatosh teke. E solo barakatosh teke. Oh, Rabba Salakatere Mashatalia. Chariots of fire all around us. Oh, thank you, Spirit of the Living God. The Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift a standard against him. The Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against him. Say, Father, raise a standard against every flood that has bewitched my home, every flood that is challenging my family, every flood that is challenging my marriage, every flood that is challenging my husband, every flood that is challenging me, every flood that is challenging my children, raise a standard against them. Maya Koraba Shantalia. Raise a standard against them. Spirit of the living God, raise a standard against them. Makoso tori bakashata. Eka baya kotoro bo sheke. Deliso bragados ya teli brados teke. O sembro bo do sheke. Alibaro kotos ya taliga bros teke. Araba baba sika tore gedegele. O kobre kina suka parikato. E salakata salakata salakata. E praya kuma shandala. E raba baba ba. When the spirit of death comes knocking. When the spirit of death is hovering around your family. Sometimes you can perceive it. Sometimes you can perceive it. When the spirit of death, if you have discernment, you'll just be restless in your spirit. Extra conscious. Extra conscious. You are going to speak. 
that the Lord raises a standard against every spirit of untimely death. The spirit of the Lord raises a standard against every spirit, every wicked spirit of untimely death. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree that there's no, no room for you. No room for you. We will not be a prey in your hands. My children will never be a prey in your hands. No member of my family will be a prey in your hands. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Oh, let me show you a scripture that will further ginger you this morning. Azambre dosuli kabaya. Azambre dosuli kabaya. Azambre dosuli kabaya. Wild men slept. There's a time to sleep. There's a time to wake up. 5 a.m. is not the time to sleep. 5 a.m. is the time to wake up. The Bible says, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a good man who went to the farm and sowed good seed. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. Why? Because the Bible says, Watch and pray. He didn't say, Pray and sleep. He said, while you are praying, shine your eyes. Watch. Be alert. Be alert. Another scripture says, be sober. Be vigilant for your adversary. Matthew 13, 24, 25. He says, be sober. Be vigilant for your adversary. He didn't say our adversary. That means everybody has their own adversary. Goes up and down, seeking whom, whom he may kill, steal, and destroy. Be vigilant. Be observant. Be discerning. Be prophetic. Live a prophetic life. Don't sleep when you're meant to pray. Stop snoring. You have slept enough. You have slept enough. Every tear. Every tear. Every weed. That the enemy has sowed in my life, sowed in my family. Every seed. He says, while men slept, the enemy came and he sowed the seed and he walked away. And he walked away. And he walked away. Kalabaso tarabashandalia. Arabaso. Every seed that the enemy has sown in my family, I uproot you now in the name of Jesus. I uproot you now in the name of Jesus. And I command you to dry up now. Dry up in Jesus' name. Dry up in Jesus' name. Dry up in Jesus' name. Every seed, every tear, every tear that the enemy has sown in my family, in my home, in my marriage, in my life, in my husband's life, in my children's life. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Uproot it. Because Jesus said, whatsoever my father has not planted shall be uprooted. Uproot it in the name of Jesus Christ. He said he has given you the power to tear down and to build up. To uproot and to plant. Say I uproot every seed that my father has not planted that is growing in my family i uproot you from the root and i command you to dry up in the name of jesus i command you to dry up now now in jesus name there's power in your tongue man of god there's power in your tongue man of god jesus spoke to a tree it wasn't the season for that fig tree to bear fruit. But Jesus said, let no man eat from this tree forever and ever. And by the following day, the disciples, when they were passing, the Bible says they saw that it dried up from the roots. They saw that it dried up from the roots. They said, look, Jesus, the tree you cursed yesterday has dried up, begin to curse every tree that your father has not planted. I curse you. I curse every tree that my father in heaven has not planted in my family. I curse you now. I command you to dry up, dry up, dry up from the roots. Wither, 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 wither now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every tree that my father has not planted. Every tree that Jesus did not permit. Every tree that God did not put, that did not, God did not plant. In my family, dry up now. From the root, I curse you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I snuff life out of you. Mashakari masoteria. Marabasoko tolegedoshi. Aparati godoskataria. Dry up from the root. Dry up from the root. 
dry up from the root dry up from the root in the name of Jesus Christ dry up oh every tree that is tree of wickedness tree of wickedness growing you know there are some trees of wickedness that have grown they already have fruits in fact their roots are spreading into extended families spreading into rooms spread they've taken seated in the center of your family say I snuff life out of you dry up in the name of Jesus dry up in the name of Jesus every tree that my father has not planted that the enemy has erected in this family. He erected in the family of Olabisi, Adam. I speak to you now in the name of Jesus. Dry up from the root. Dry up, begin to wither. Begin to wither in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Rabbi Salah Baradosheke. Let every fruit begin to fall down. Let the fruits begin to fall. Let the fruits begin to fall. Let the fruits begin to dry up. Let the leaves begin to dry up. Let the leaves begin to dry up. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you permit it, it will grow to become a forest. If you permit it, it will grow until it becomes a forest. But today you will not permit it. You will say, I do not permit you to grow any further. Any tree that my father has not planted in my home, I do not permit you. Any tree that my father has not planted in my family, I do not permit you to grow. Dry up completely in the name of Jesus. Dry up completely. Let the leaves begin to dry up. Begin to wither out. Begin to wither away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shala barakatore mashantaria. Shala barakatore mashantaria. Do you remember the story of those two women? One was sleeping. While the other one was sleeping, she rolled, she slept on her newborn baby and the child died. And then she went to the other woman who also had another child and she swapped the child. Things happen when you sleep too much. Things happen when you sleep too much. Things happen when you oversleep. When you are sleeping in the spirit. I'm not talking about physical sleep. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking about spiritual slumber. Spirit, some people are sleeping, comfortable. Oh, you know, this is life. Oh, things happen. Nobody has it. Nobody's life is perfect. You know, you think you think everybody has it all together? You think you think as she's praying now, her life is perfect? Well, you're not living in my house. You're just comfortable, giving yourself, giving the devil reasons to further afflict you. When you slumber in the spirit, things happen. A woman slept, they came, swapped her baby. Swapped her baby. They swapped, she was sleeping. They swapped her child. That's a proverb for somebody. What has the devil swapped in your hands? Because in the spirit you were blind, ignorant, snoring your way out. Sleeping was gonna be, it's gonna be. You know those people who are there. I'm sure we have some of them on this altar. Today receive deliverance from spiritual foolishness. Receive that deliverance. I drive out that spirit from your life. Those people that say, what's mine is gonna be mine. What's mine is gonna be mine. Too much sleep. Too much sleep. Bible says a little sleep, a little slumber. So shall your poverty be for you. Father, deliver every father, every mother, every woman, every man here on this altar. Deliver us from spiritual slumber. In the mighty name of Jesus, when you are feeling that urge to pray, that press to pray, that urge to pray, that urge to pray, Father, deliver us. And you will be sleeping. Say, later, later. That's how it starts. I'll do it later. It's not convenient now. I'll do it later. The Holy Spirit is saying pray. So I'll do it later. Spiritual slumber. Tiredness. Laziness in the spirit. Laziness in the spirit. May the Lord deliver us all this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wake up. Wake up from your sleep. Wake up from your slumber. The spirit world is so real so real I'm not trying to scare you I'm just trying to let you know reality this is not reality what you are seeing now is not reality reality is the fact that there are spirits that are looking at you but you don't see them reality is the fact that the other side of this world 
is as clear as night and day. And they are watching you. They are seeing you. But you don't see them. That's your reality. Psalm 91 says, How shall I deliver us from the arrow that flies by day? Have you ever seen any arrow that flies by day? But the Bible says there are arrows that fly broad daylight. The devil is shooting arrows by day. And you are, you know, being a chick. You don't have a prayer altar. You don't have fire. You don't have fire. You don't have a secret place. You don't have a place where you're kabashing. You don't have an altar here. Kaya basoto robo shota liga dosh eke. Honda basi karabasha talia. Say, Father, deliver me from spiritual foolishness. Deliver me. It's okay to look good. It's okay to do all of that. But make sure that you're on fire. Don't just be on fire on the ground. Make sure that if the devil tries you, Hey, mm. don't go there. Don't go to Bisi's house. Don't be said again. Don't try her. Make sure that is what happens spiritually. Make sure that is how you are spiritually. It can't be a prey. One roaming around, dry in the spirit, dry in the physical, dry everywhere. Good on the outside, dry on the inside. God forbid. Say God forbid. In the name of Jesus Christ. As long as I'm connected to this altar, I remain on fire. Masolo borosho tari gadashta. Meka saloto pereketosia. Oso belika sotori bashantalia. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against spiritual sleep and slumber. We come against spiritual sleep and slumber. We come against spiritual lukewarmness. We come against indifference in the spirit. We come against it. Jesus said, choose one. I want you to be hot or cold. Don't be indifferent. Don't be in between. Choose one. I choose to be hot. I choose to be hot in the name of Jesus Christ. I choose to be on fire. Maya basotara bashandalia. Ekabayeke toromo sukata. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, don't forget your prayer points. Every tree that the Lord has not planted in my house, in my home, in my marriage, in my family, in my mother's family, in my father's family, today I arise as a David and I uproot you in the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hora bashaka talibra O koso leke tere mo kosa tari adoshta. O breya tamaka sileke te. O zobo zobo leke tere aboshteke. O gabaye ke tore mo shanda liga doskata. In the name of Jesus Christ. O la masate rege doshteka. O la masate rege doshteka. I'm hearing ancient trees. There are some ancient trees. Some of you, you are going to have to repeat this prayer. By 12 and by 6, you come back online. Go to my page. Repeat this prayer. By 12 and by 6. Persistence breaks resistance. God taught me that. You want to break any resistance in your family. Keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. It will break. It will break. Persistence breaks resistance. There are some ancient trees in families. Trees that are older than your father's father. Trees that are older than your father's father's father. You, today, you see that little David that rose up against Goliath? That's who you are today. You take that position today. Don't break your fast until you have repeated this prayer. If you like, go and eat sandwich at work. Go and eat toast bread. Don't break your fast until you have repeated this prayer. Every ancient tree in my family, every ancient tree in my family, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, I burn you to ashes. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for myself. Every ancient tree in my family, every ancient tree in my life, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I burn you to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. I burn you. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit consume you to ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ, ancient trees, Koraba Shantalia. I burn you to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. O sele makura mashantalia. E praya koso tori mashede lege doskata. 
Lift your hands towards heaven. Father, pour out an unusual grace upon everyone on this altar. Pour out an unusual grace to wait upon you. Grace to just pray. Grace to fast. Grace to wait and not be tired. Father, pour it upon everyone on this altar. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pour it upon them. An unusual grace for prayer and intercession. Release it upon your sons and your daughters. In the name of Jesus Christ. An unusual strength for prayer. An unusual zeal and passion for prayer. Release it upon everyone under, under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your, your husband will start asking, what's going on? The prayer in this house is, is, is somehow, what's happening? You say, nothing. I just woke up. I just woke up. My light has come. I just woke up. An unusual grace for prayer. Let it hit you now. Let it hit you now. Let it hit you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. On Sunday, the Lord told me, Missy, I want you to enter some things. There are some things you have to press into. Some things you have to press into. Start praying. I can't tell you how many hours a day that the Lord gave me for prayers. Because I don't want to put anybody under pressure. I can't tell you how many hours a day that the Lord gave me for prayers. How many hours a day? This is the amount of hours. Load your prayer meter. Load it. Yesterday after prayer, as soon as I, I had to employ another personal assistant yesterday. I said, ministry will not drive me mad. Let me get another personal assistant that will be handling things for me. I locked myself in the room. My children went to school. Pish, began to pray. Pish, began to press. Pish, began to pray. Nobody doubted my name. My phone was on flight mode. Till I was done. You need to enter your prayer closet. You need to shut down and begin to press. Begin to press. Begin just pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Keep charging. Keep charging. Keep charging. God told me, I want you to enter something. But you need another level of prayer in the spirit. You need to. You are praying, oh God. Step up a bit. I said, Holy Spirit, let's go there. Let's go there. How many of you will do that today? After this prayer. When your kids, except you have to go to work, of course. Shut down. Lock yourself in the room. And begin to fire prayer. Put on the sound. Begin to pray. When sleep comes, you will stand up again and move around. Walk up and down. Walk up and down. Shake it off and begin to pray. Begin to pray. There are some things that God has prepared for us. There are some blessings that God has prepared for us. You will not enter by eating it. Smoothie, chicken, wings, pepper wings. You can eat this. There is a time to starve yourself. There is a time to starve yourself. There is a time to turn your plate upside down and say, belly, all the six, koto You will talk to yourself, say, BC, all the six. You will not die. You will not die. It will not kill you. It will make you stronger. May the Lord give you that grace. May the Lord give you that grace. May the Lord give you that grace. May the Lord help you for that. Oh, Maraba Shatalia. May the Lord give us that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Marko Sotereba Shantalia. This prayer we are praying is meant to ginger you. The fast you can break by six, you can break by three. As your energy, do you understand? But there are some things that are about to drop. Hey, I don't know about you. I'm so expectant. There are some things that are about to drop. That if you do not pray and press, pray and press. 2 a.m. I was awake. 2 a.m. reading my Bible. 2 a.m. And that's my lifestyle. Pressing, pressing, pressing. Nobody will see when we are sowing the seed. Too. But when they are sharing the testimony, you see I tap into it. You don't know the dimension. You don't know the seeds that the person sowed in the place of prayer. You don't know. You don't know. You just be tapping. I tap into your testimony. I tap into your testimony. You don't know what the person invested in the spirit. Nothing just happens. 
Nothing just happens. I'm telling you, nothing just happens. My family and friends know me. If I say someone gave me this, only God knows what you are giving. Yesterday, instructions as I was praying. Instructions, instructions were flowing. Do this, do that, do this, do that. Things that you want to enter in. As you are praying in the spirit, God will be giving you instructions. God will be giving you instructions. God will be, God said today is a day of sacrifice. That was what God told me yesterday. Today is a day of sacrifice. Today is a day of sacrifice. Today is a day of sacrifice. Throughout yesterday, it was sacrificial for me. Every, if you had asked me for my week yesterday, I would have given you. That was what the Lord told me. Today is a day of sacrifice. That was what the Lord told me. Some of you, you will soak your altar with tears, tears, tears only. No sacrifice. Receive wisdom today. Receive wisdom today. Receive wisdom today. Go and pray. Go and pray. Spend more time praying. Spend more time praying. As tired as I was, my PA called me last night. If you don't know what she said, I couldn't even talk. I couldn't even eat. I was too tired. I said, I still feel led to pray by nine. I said, but you are tired. I feel led. I won't do what I feel like doing. I will do what the Spirit is leading me to do. As tired as I was, I still led prayers at 9 p.m. And I will still pray again tonight by 9. So if you are, if you are here, set your alarm for 9 p.m. I will still pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I have an announcement. Jesus Christ, I almost forgot. I have an announcement. Um... I've never done with this before, but I feel led to do this. Um, I believe God has given me two instructions for us on this altar, but I'll say the first one now. And I've prayed about it. I've sought the face of the Lord concerning this. Every month in Lagos, we spend millions in Lagos. Every month. Millions in Lagos. And most of it goes into renting equipment, sound, screen, live streaming, and all of those things. I bought this camera. I bought this camera. It's a Canon 5D Mark IV. I bought it for 2.1 million naira. In fact, it's 2.1. I got a discount of 50K. So I got it for 2 million 50,000 naira. Because I got fed up of paying every month for rentals. And this is not all we need. We still need a video camera. We still need to buy a lens. We still need to buy a console mixer. A console mixer is 2.5. They have a smaller one for 500K. We still need a tripod. We still need a box to carry all of these things. And deep down, I don't want to rent again this week. By today, my people in Lagos are expecting us to wire money we're not taking communion today, sorry. My people in Lagos are expecting us to pay for another rental. I'm tired of it. We can afford these things. We have blessed people on this altar. God has men. God has people. If I want to buy output, output transmitter alone is 250000 naira. But if I tell you the amount we pay every month in Lagos, just for us to do live streaming, we still have to change the lens. In fact, they told me you still have to buy another lens to cover the whole hall. That's why most times I don't even post the pictures because I'm not even pleased with the pictures. You know? So today, I just want to say it here. If you feel led to give towards these things, like I said, God gave me two instructions. This is the first one. If you feel led, I don't want to rent this Friday in Lagos. I'm believing God that we'll be able to buy that video camera. The video camera is 1.6 million naira. The box that will carry everything is 500,000 naira. They said that box, if you stand on it, it will not break. No matter where you put it, it will not break. We need to package everything. I will post the account details. I will just call the account. I don't know how to pin. People that are saying I should pin. I don't know how they do all of those things. But I will post the account details. I don't want us to rent in Lagos this Friday. 
I don't want us to rent in Lagos. And we can use it in all other meetings. If we're going to London, I can carry it again and use. Do you understand? Or any other meeting we have, I can carry it again and use. So I'm going to call the account details. If you feel led to give to us this, please do so. It's, it, the money is not 100K. It's in millions. The camera alone is 1.6. The console is 2.5. And they showed me another one for 500K. The box is about 500,000 or 550. So many other things. So yes, I'll, the dollar account is my personal dollar account. The ministry does not have a dollar account, so I will give it to you via DM. The, um, the ministry account is Ignite Women Intercessors Ministry, 102-487-4031. 102-487-4031. UBA Bank. And then we have a Zenith account, Queen Esther Banquet, 101 um, the Zenith account 101-577-6005 I will post it on WhatsApp yeah that's the account details Queen Esther Banquet Zenith 101-577-6005 and then um, the the UBA one last time please 102 487 4031. I don't know how to pin. Maybe we'll learn that as time goes on. So please, if you didn't get that, send me a DM, send a private message to us on WhatsApp and give to us it. By the grace of God, I'm hoping we go to Lagos with our live stream gadgets. If you want to send a message to us on WhatsApp or you want to join any of the WhatsApp groups, it's 0703 151 0419 0703 151-0419. God bless you. I don't need to preach for you to do that. God bless you. Thank you as you give to us this. God bless you. Thank you on behalf of the ministry, on behalf of God. In fact, another advantage of having a good camera, if you check our um, live streaming, when they post our um, videos on YouTube, the image is nothing at all. It's nothing to write home about nothing to write home about it just comes up straight it, and someone told me that if it comes as a, that there's a square shape if it can come as a square shape the videos will go you know like youtube will even promote the video some more so this is part of the reasons i'm using my phone to live stream right now if we have that camera they will just set it for me permanently and it will be live streaming so god bless you as you give 0703 one five one zero four one nine. That's the number. If you did not get that, um, the ministry account details one last time. One zero two four eight seven four zero three one. Ignite Intercessors Ministry UBA and the Zenith account one zero one five seven seven six zero zero five. Have a wonderful day. Yes, there will be a bus to and fro. Our meeting on Friday. Free bus from Lekki, Ojelegba, all those lake areas, Surulere, Magodo, we have free buses. Send a message, check the page. If you check my page, you will see it. Please um, partake of it, don't miss it. Have a wonder, don't forget the second announcement. I won't forget, I'm still praying about it. I just want God to lead me concerning that. Thank you, God bless you, and goodbye for now.